Hey guys, this is DLQ Gaming, and in today's video, I'm going to discuss uh, messaging of mechanics in DC Universe Online, or at least my two cents on this topic. Uh, I will also heavily reference my experiences in Final Fantasy XIV for context, as this will help with certain points that I'm going to make. I hope that you guys will find this useful, and if you do, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, the first point I will make is regarding boss abilities. In DC Universe Online, boss abilities are indicated often by a skull above the enemy's head, though this isn't always the case. At times, enemies may look at or point at a particular player or players, indicating that that, that player is the uh, target. This can be tricky to notice if there is a lot going on on screen, including other players and power set animations like uh, water pack, water is, um, Soyuz to the Sea. If you have a water healer in the group, uh, Soyuz to the Sea can be quite um, quite in your face if you're um, running a certain content. Um, or other mechanical and mechanic animations by the enemy or enemies. Or if there's a lot of NPCs on screen obstructing your view, such as robot psychic, henchmen, uh, allies, etc. In many cases, the enemy in DC Universe Online PvE content is often of a similar size to the player, and with a lot of visual noise in the way, it can be difficult to see what is going on. The settings are quite limited as well, certainly on the PlayStation, and if you turn down the effects, your uh, visual effects on the settings, you will turn down the effects of the mechanics as well. Obviously, you need to be able to see what you're doing and see where those are, so you can avoid them, otherwise you take a lot of damage and potentially be knocked out. Um, and obviously you don't want that to happen. Um, there isn't a way to sort of moderate whether you can sort of see the enemy's visual effects and what they're doing, but not animations from you or your fellow group members. In Final Fantasy XIV, the settings have this and much more. Uh, toning down visual effects in DC Universe Online can also slightly improve your performance in the game as well, with a little less latency than with the effects all at 100%. Um, also, DC Universe Online and the enemy skull attacks. What does the skull mean? What is the enemy going to do after? The answer is in your combat tab in your chat box at the bottom left of the screen. The combat tab will show your the boss's ability and the damage it has done to you or how it has affected you. Um, but many players don't really look at the combat tab. I mean, maybe don't even know about it. Like. I'd say maybe less than a very small number of people in the DC Universe Online community who actively play DC Universe Online really bother to look at the combat tab and if they got knocked out in their raid or whatever, they don't know what killed them because they haven't looked to see what the ability was. Um, unless you're like a tester, someone who goes on PC tests for a new um, update, you're not really going to look at that that much in most cases, um, which is kind of in a way a problem because it would be good to know what the special abilities are of this boss and how you can go about them a lot easier than it, than it is presently. Uh, in Final Fantasy XIV, however, the special ability and the cast timer leading up to that uh, special ability is displayed on screen for you to see. Players can connect those abilities to what the boss is actually going to do, prepare accordingly, and this makes it significantly easier to make guides for this content um, for the community of that game. Uh, the player base to know more about these mechanics and can teach newer players going forward much easier. With DC Universe Online, there is a big divide in the community, a lack of guidance um, in general, and veteran players expecting newer players to figure it out. Uh, how to figure it out? The combat tab. This isn't immediately obvious, as I, as I previously mentioned, and even for a player like myself, who has played DC Universe Online for nine and a half years, I didn't learn about the combat tab until the last couple of years. I had to rely on running content by being taught by veteran players and less so uh, from the game itself. Again, guides are in very short supply for um, content in TC Universe Online. Maybe those veteran players expect me as a less experienced player back then to get good and if I messed up, I would be kicked from the group without explanation. It happened to me a number of times as I was um, progressing through the game. The harder content in DC Universe Online has often been um, more due to what isn't clearly messaged or telegraphed than what is, not in all cases of course. And if players can't do it, um, then it would be nerfed down, doing less damage uh, to you or having the mechanic taken out altogether, rather than messaging added to telegraph the mechanic better, so it would be easier for the newer players to learn and get better at the game. 
Um, of course, the DC Universe online population is less than it was in the first few years since it started in 2011, so data showing success rates may not be entirely representative if players are, just aren't running the content anymore and have left the game for whatever reason. I suspect um, one thing I would like to see, I think that would really help, is having better messaging and better guides um, in the community so these players can learn how to do content. We can get more interesting content going forward and with a bit more uh, mechanics going on and then people can get better at the game and enjoy the game again because I think at the moment that's kind of a bit lacking um, in my opinion. Um, with that said, in more recent years the developers have become better at telegraphing mechanics uh, you have red areas indicating the area area of effect, particularly in sort of content in the last sort of year or so. Um, and text on screen telling you what, what to do or not to do at a given time during a boss ability. Maybe an alloy NPC, so if you're in a raid with Batman or Wonder Woman, it may explain in voiceover what it is that you are meant to do. Um, but there is still a lot of work to do. Take for example the 360 degree um, cone attack mechanic. Um, a succession of attacks used consecutively clockwise or anti-clockwise for a time. Um, I did kind of go over this in a previous Final Fantasy and DC Universe Online mechanic video. Um, but essentially, like, uh, let's say for example, Phoenix Cannon, um, one of the raids that came out uh, not too long ago, about a year or two ago. Um, this attack starts with the boss facing the window, um, north on the radar, at, on the top right of your screen then going clockwise um, so she kind of always does that she always starts um, sort of north and always goes north east south west um, so you kind of once you get used to that you can just sort of stay sort of diagonal of her and um, go southeast or northeast or northwest or southwest um, but in um, conventions of unmaking elites um, second boss with uh, emerald eye of ekron um, what determines their attack? How does it start? How does it end? Um, which way is he facing? Um, it kind of just sort of starts wherever, with a bit of a wonky clockwise succession of uh, cone attacks that aren't fully 90 degrees each time. Um, some of them are sort of like more randomly direct directed. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe an oversight in the, in the design of it. Um, sure enough, if the group passes the damage check, um, there is also a chance that the eye might start a 360 cone attack there and then. So any place directly in front of the eye may die if they aren't prepared um, or stuck in power animation. Um, I've personally learned from experience to move somewhat diagonal, like I said previously, um, from the eye's pupil during this part so that I am not at risk of that happening to me personally on most occasions unless my internet connection is not that great. Um, but that does come from a lot of experience running this elite raid. Um, but what, what determines when the eye is going to do a 360 attack uh, and where and in what direction? This is a less clear um, question to answer. Um, not sure what is going on with that. Um, let's compare this to a Final Fantasy um, situation. So the first boss in the Gimlet Dark dungeon um, towards the end of uh, the Stormblood expansion. And you notice a few differences. Firstly, a clear area of effect, an indicator of where the boss is going to strike first, allowing enough time for players to position accordingly, and an arrow around the boss um, going round and round, indicating the direction and whether the boss is going, moving clockwise or anti-clockwise. Um, on top of this, you have the ability in cast time up on the screen, so players will know what is coming and prepare accordingly. Even if you have a lot going on on screen in Final Fantasy XIV mechanically, most things are telegraphed so that you have time to prepare a position accordingly. It doesn't often feel unfair most of the time. Um, in DC Universe Online, m m unless you have run the content many times, assuming it hasn't been nerfed, um, seemingly sudden one shots um, from face goals um, or poorly telegraphed abilities can ostracize the newer player base who haven't had the guidance they needed. And of course, as the years have gone by, the amount of guides that we've had have become less and less. Um, obviously this doesn't really help because I mean you, then people expect the content sort of cater more to them the content becomes more easy because there's not a lot of guidance out there um, and not, the messaging mechanics isn't as good as it could be of course um, blocking helps in these cases um, where you have a skull um, but you don't necessarily have to block for every skull indicator you come across 
um, it's more of a fail step option. Um, but I definitely would say is, I guess the question is, is what I'm trying to ask is, do skulls need to go or be replaced with something more distinctive for that particular mechanic or boss encounter? Is it time the skulls were updated or is it time that special abilities were served only for the combat tab or certain chat settings become more visible on screen so players can prepare accordingly? Uh, in summary, there is definitely room for improvement with regards to telegraphing of mechanics in various boss encounters in DC Universe Online. Um, this improvement, I believe, will improve gameplay um, experience, help players get better at the game and so strive to succeed more. And overall, it will be good for the health of DC Universe Online going forward and its episode content releases. Um, let me know what you think about best gym mechanics um, in DC Universe Online in the comments below. Is it time for a major update on this system? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. And if so, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Um, anyway, take care guys. I will see you in game. Goodbye.